So a very good morning boys and girls and welcome to day three of my Scotland adventure. Now yesterday morning we came down to Bowfiddle Rock and took some sunrise-ish kind of photographs of it. Today I thought I would use the clear sky to my advantage. It's currently three o'clock in the morning. I thought stuff it, let's do some astrophotography with the Olympus EM1 Mark II and the Lauer 6mm lens. So let's get stuck in and see what we can't grab of a very, very dark sky location for the first time in my life. I'm quite excited about this one. So I've got the camera set up. I've got 40 seconds dialed in for the exploded time. F2 as wide as this lens will go and the ISO is set to 1600. You can see a rock down in the foreground and what we're going to do is using the torch on the back of my mobile phone, we're going to light paint all of this rock and everything in the foreground and hopefully get a really nice photograph of the Milky Way as it's rising above Bowfiddle Rock, which is off in the distance over there. You can't see it, obviously, because it's pitch black. Let's see what we can do. All right, so let me show you the technique I use in order to take photographs like this. So you can see that the torch is on, on the back of my phone. The camera settings are exactly the same. So F2, 40 second exposure time, ISO 1600. The lens is focused at infinity. Obviously, on an ultra wide angle lens, everything is in focus when you focus on infinity. So we don't really have to worry about things like that. And all we do, two second countdown timer on the camera. As soon as the exposure starts taking, just hold your phone in the sky or your torch or your light or whatever you're using to light paint the foreground and just hold it there for as long as you think you need to do. Now, this is one of those trial and everything. You're not going to get this right first time. And obviously, the more times you do this, the better luck you're going to have. So I think that could be about enough. So I'm just going to whip the phone behind my back so it takes all of that light away from the foreground. And behind my back, just turn the torch off. Easy as that. A little bit of light painting for an astrophotography foreground. So I've just taken a test shot and, well, wow, I've never actually seen a night sky like this. You're not going to get the full effect of this on the back of the screen, but the rock here with all the waves sloshing around it, you've got both of the rock in the middle there, you've got the two cliffs either side of this, and the amount of stars in this frame, I've never seen anything like it. And to top this up, this is a single exposure. And the Milky Way is so obvious in the middle of this frame. My mind has been blown by just how dark this site is. Obviously, where I live in East Yorkshire, you don't get skies like this. 